Broadsword calling Danny Boy. Taken just three days ago in deep space, a new image of the hostile landscape of the comet. This mission is generating new insights all the time. The great jets blasting off from the surface contain dust and water, and the first analysis released tonight has produced a real surprise. Last month, a tiny lander made headlines around the world by touching down on the comet. Its batteries died, but the data it gathered is now being studied. Meanwhile, the mothership, Rosetta, is still in orbit around the comet, hunting for clues about the role that comets may have played in getting life started here on Earth. No one knows how water got here, the first raindrops and oceans, and the leading theory is that because comets contain ice, then they might have brought it. So a key question for the mission is whether the water that we have on Earth is in any way similar to the water on the comet. Although all water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen, there are minute variations, and each type has a distinct chemical signature. Now, it turns out there's so-called heavy water on the comet. That's because it contains deuterium in much greater quantities than you see in water here. And that means that the theory that comets were our main source of water now looks less likely. The idea of comets delivering water cannot be ruled out because there are lots of different types of comet. But for scientists involved, this result does force them to think again. This is a very clear result about the gas that's come from the comet. And it shows very, very clearly that all the water on the Earth cannot have been delivered to the Earth by this type of comet. So we have to look at other types of comets and we have to look at asteroids as well. It's just the start of the story, not the finish. Comets have always been among the most mysterious objects in the solar system, and this mission, as it unfolds, is throwing up more questions than answers. David Shukman, BBC News.